so we did really good. It's been in the refrigerator for about three days. I'm going to let these sit at room temperature, and then I'll come back to them after we get the butter done, after we get the butter finished. So the timer just went off. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off, and let's see what we got. All right, we're going to move on to the next step. We are going to pour all of the contents from this bowl into this bowl so we can strain the butter from the whey. So the mixer is empty. This is our butter. This is what it looks like right now. And this is the whey underneath. And we do want to rinse this really well, and we're going to try to squeeze out all the excess butter. But because this was room temperature, it's extremely soft. So for that reason, I want to take a handful of ice cubes and I just want to put a little bit of ice on top of this. I'm just going to let it sit. I'm going to let the ice sit on it for a few minutes and then I'm going to take it and rinse it under cold water and try to squeeze it and work out some more that way in all the air pockets. I like to use a glove when I'm working with the butter instead of my hand. You can use your hands and just wash your hands. Okay, so what I did was I just squeezed it with both hands and then I ran it under cold water. You can see it's very soft still, but it is workable. And now I just have it sitting on the ice and this is just so it can harden up a little bit, make it a little bit easier to work with. And you can see it doesn't take long. You get it cold and it starts hardening up. But this is our amazing cultured butter. So now I'm doing this with one hand. You could also mix in some herbs. If I had something specifically that I would be using it for this week, I might do that, but I'm just gonna use it fresh like this. There you have it, homemade butter. So easy, this is under 10 minutes from start to finish. Now, if you were using cold cream or store-bought cream, it may take longer. I'm not accustomed to making homemade butter that way. So yummy. Okay, so this is not sweet cream. It's not sweet, it's cultured butter, which is my personal favorite type of butter. If you squeeze it and you see water oozing out, then you want to continue to squeeze it. I'm going to go ahead and put the phone down and uh, work it a little bit with both hands, and then I'll show you the final product. And here we have it. We ended up with 8.8 .8 ounces of fresh butter. This is just a piece of wax paper. I'm going to wrap it up in here and put it in the fridge. It will harden, and we are going to use this yummy butter this week. So here we have our homemade feta. This smells amazing. I'm gonna keep one out and I'm gonna vacuum seal the second one and keep it in the fridge just to keep it extra fresh while we go through the first one before I open the second one. Now full disclosure, a friend of mine, she was in the middle of making this cheese, didn't have time to finish it, so sent it home with me. So technically I just finished the last few steps of, of this cheese making. And then this is the final product.